The Prophet والسلام, said that a dua is ibadah, that prayer in the general sense of prayer is worship. And then in another uh, narration, he said, mukhli ibadah, he said, is the inner element or the essence, perhaps we could say, of, of worship. And why that is, is because we're not simply just talking and we're not simply just giving our wish list. Uh, to Allah for the things that we want. Dua is a confession, right? It's a confession of our need, and it's a confession and a testimony of Allah's ability to fulfill that need. Would it make any sense to make dua if you didn't believe that the one you are praying towards could fulfill your request, right? It would it would be a waste of time. Nobody would do such a thing. So some people, they get twisted up in their minds and they have this kind of doubt. It's like, oh, I don't want to ask Allah for too much, right? We're kind of feeling like like Allah is a person, right? Because people are like that. Why? Why are people like that? Because people get shy because they can't give everything. They don't own everything. They're not able to give, right? And so when it comes to asking other people, other people are going to pull away at a certain point. And we're so used to dealing with people and we're so, um, you know, far from dealing with Allah that we almost, we treat Allah like a person. We, we imagine that he's going to react like a person will react. And that's completely wrong. It's the complete opposite scenario. Allah loves that we make dua and he wants us to make dua and make more more dua than we're already making. Why? Because first of all, he owns everything. And so he's perfectly able. And not just does he own everything, but he's also free from need. Why do people get hesitant to give because they have needs, right? And so at a certain point, people are going to pull back and say, well, I don't want to give it because I need some too, right? Allah is not like that. Allah owns everything and he's free from need. He literally has it to give. It's to give. That's the whole reason why it's there. Uh, and so when we make dua, we're confessing of we're confessing our dependence upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're testifying to his ability to give us what we what we want. We're testifying to his ownership of everything. And that's something that is a statement of tawheed. So this is something that is uh, a fundamental aspect of worship and it's a fundamental part of our faith.